If you're an online coach, you might have the idea or question of, should I start a YouTube channel? And in this video, I'm gonna share my experience with my YouTube channel, why I started it, and we'll cover if you should have one too. All right, before we dive in today's video, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. I create daily content just like this to help you grow and scale your online coaching business. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. So I started my YouTube channel in January of 2023. And at the time I had already launched an online coaching program. I, I was doing about 20 to $30,000 a month. And primarily all that traffic was coming from Instagram. Instagram is where I've been posting for at least a year and a half, two years, posting consistent reels, getting a lot of traction, utilizing the DMs, having conversations with people, inviting them to calls, and then signing them as a client. And that strategy was working really, really well. And what I realized was that a lot of people still came into the calls and they didn't really know my process. They didn't really know what I did and how I did it. So what I started doing was, man, I wanna start creating more educational content that really walks people through the high level process of what I do with my clients. And I knew that if I created a YouTube channel, it would help me build a relationship with my future clients because they can see me talk at a normal speed and be teaching and educating. I'm a coach and when someone works with me, we're gonna be doing a lot of coaching, right? So for them to do that, they need to kind of feel out my vibe and energy. And to be honest, when I'm on Instagram or I'm in a short form content, I'm talking super fast, right? I'm trying to just like get it done in 30 to 60 seconds so that the algorithm will like it and so that like it'll be short enough to be posted and consumed on that platform. Because essentially what you're doing when you create content on a short form platform like that is you, you need to make your content that's designed to be consumed on that platform. And to be honest, that's not my real style. Like if you guys know me, I'm pretty low key, I'm pretty laid back, I'm a little bit slower. And that's why I really like YouTube because I can portray and show my personality without having to like be perfect on script and, and be super short. In these videos, I stumble. In these videos, I might say things and be like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. Well, we'll run with it, right? And that's okay, because that's me. That's, I'm imperfect, I'm not, I'm not perfect, right? And I can also just be goofy on here. So needless to say, like I really, really have enjoyed creating content on YouTube because it does help me show my process and really form a relationship with people that are watching. I will say, it's not for everyone. It is a process every single Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I'm filming four videos today. Typically I do two, okay? I would not recommend someone starting YouTube until they have a proven organic source like Instagram or Facebook. Those two platforms are my favorite ones to get started because of the ability to DM and message people. You can book calls with a very, very small following on those platforms. The thing with YouTube is that I'm posting a video, it might get likes, I might get subscribers, but I can't message those subscribers. You know, we can engage back and forth in the comments, but I really don't know who's consuming my content. On Instagram, I can see the likes, I can see the views on my stories. So it really helps me have a really clean idea of who's in my pipeline. Or can I send a personal message to somebody to connect? So you have more information as a business owner on Instagram or Facebook about the people who are consuming your content. As you start to grow, that's where YouTube comes in. And like I shared earlier, I got into YouTube when I was already doing 20 to $30,000 a month and I saw YouTube as a long-term investment. It took me 10 months before I got my first client from YouTube. And when I say from YouTube, it means it's the first time they ever saw me, like they saw me on a YouTube video. The first click that my team tracked was from YouTube. Now, we did get a lot of people immediately when I started running it that would go to YouTube before they'd have a sales call with me. And they would watch all my content and they'd be like, dude, your vibe is awesome. Or if they didn't like my vibe, they just would probably cancel the call. But um, those that did, they're like, hey, I like your vibe. I like your teaching style, the right energy that I'm looking for in a coach. So I'd really like to have this call with you. And they would also consume all my videos that walked over my exact process of how I help clients. They were a lot easier to, to sell on the process, right? And it, it didn't require as much objection handling, uh, none of that because they, already knew it was involved, they knew it was included, and that's why they came to the call, because they wanted it. I've noticed a massive shift in my show up rates, 
and also the show up rates of my clients that are using YouTube videos. But I'm gonna keep coming back to, do not create this until you're doing 20 to $30,000 a month, primarily on Instagram or Facebook, okay? It's a lot faster return on investment. You can start conversations, book much more calls a lot faster, but once you're over the 20 to $30,000 a month mark, it is in your best interest to start creating at least one YouTube video a week and have it be more educational. Talk about your process, show the before and after either that you've had with your clients or yourself. You can document yourself. Hey, this is what I'm doing this week for my fitness journey. You know, and, and just talk about your progress. People like stories, they like following along. So there's a lot that you can do there, but I would I definitely would suggest waiting until you're at the point where it really matters. And when you are, here's one of the best ways you can use YouTube and Instagram or Facebook together. When you start making YouTube videos every single week, you can start using the YouTube videos as free trainings. You can post it on Instagram or Facebook and then ask people in the post, hey, I just created a free training. If you want it, you know, comment below training and I'll send you the link. And now the YouTube video serves as a lead magnet so that you can then send them over, start DM conversations with, see if they need help and book a call. You can do the same thing on stories. Hey, just finished a new training that's gonna help you go from here to here in this time period. Just comment training below and I'll send it over. Now you're getting inbound people coming to you saying, hey, I want your training. And you get to send them a YouTube video <laughs> and then you can start a DM conversation back and forth. It's one of the best ways to leverage your existing platform and continue to grow it and use it while slowly building YouTube. YouTube is a machine. If you're trying to get to 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 subscribers, it's gonna take you a couple years. It's not like Instagram, it's not like Facebook where you can get followers like, like that and really blow up and grow. It doesn't push video nearly as hard and you have to do a lot more search behind it. So here's my overall recommendation to sum it all up. Wait till you're at 20 to $30,000 a month in cash collected. Once you're there, start making one YouTube video a week and then use your Instagram and Facebook as a platform to push it to start more conversations and over time, as you continue to post more and more YouTube videos, you'll get more subscribers that will then start to book calls with you and your team. All right, YouTube's a great platform. It's just gotta be the right timing. All right, that's all I got for today. If you haven't checked out my free training, I'm gonna link that below. It covers the five steps that I take all my clients through to be able to sign 10 clients a month for their online coaching businesses. So if that interests you, go ahead and grab it. The link below, mattchiver.com forward slash free training. All right, we'll see you next time.